So if I ever said I'm sorry, you will fuck it, I'll take it back I'm never missing nothing, cause there's something you fucking like I'm just not announcing power, man, I'm sorry, you're fucking right It's nice that you should try, but now you're nothing like that in my If I ever Yo, 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 welcome back to another episode of the Danny Mac Show, and I am the Miggity Miggity Mac with another episode of The Road to Ruin. At the moment, there's a lot of Black Lives Matter riots going on around the world, but there's something that's kind of slipped behind all this, which needs talking about, and that's the Hong Kong riots, because to be perfectly honest, as far as civil rights go, they're the ones that have most to lose if China changes extradition to mainland China, like, well... But anyway, let's jump straight into it. Hong Kong protests started in June against plans to allow extradition to mainland China. Critics feared this would undermine judicial independence and endanger dissidents. Until 1997, Hong Kong was ruled by Britain, yay, as a colony, but then returned to China under the one country, two systems arrangement. The bill was withdrawn in September, but demonstrations still continue now demand full democracy and an inquiry into police actions. Clashes between police and activists have become increasingly violent with police firing live bullets, protesters attacking officers and throwing petrol bombs. Guys, have you said, like, I remember this was going on last year and they were, like, overturning cars and setting cars on fire and um, throwing petrol bombs at police. Like, when China kicks off, they kick off royally. People seem to think that, like the Chinese people are like heavily heavily subdued when they kick off they kick off I mean look at that guy that stood in front of a tank he was just stood there with his shopping when he when they want to kick off they kick off but they've got more to lose like the police there they're firing live bullets like America they're getting rubber bullets so I don't know where where should where should our priorities lie it should be with the people getting taken live bullets fired by police. I mean, again, it's police brutality, but, you know, it's happening the other side of the world in, in Asia, in China, so people don't really seem to talk about it that much. But, and also, I think it's it's been going on for a long while now, because it was, like, from June last year, and it's June now, so these protests in China, in Hong Kong, they've been going on for a good year now, which is, which is probably why it's kind of falling behind the Black Lives Matter movement but I don't know like Hong Kong's used to the British rule so it's used to having all the freedoms of a British person and China are basically trying to take that away from them not only that like they're they're trying to set up this extradition rule which would mean like anybody that China deems a threat to the CCP they'll just yoink them and then drag them off drag them off the island and uh, stick them in jail or the labour camps so, you know, there's more to lose here. Like, Black Lives Matter, it's a bit of a joke, really. But this, this is serious. This is actually serious. Anyway, guys, I'll link the full article in the description, like I do with all the articles. And um, let me know what you think in the comments. Much love. So if I ever said I'm sorry, you will fuck it, I'll take it back I'm never missing nothing, cause there's something you fucking like I'm just not announcing power, man, I'm sorry, you're fucking right It's nice that you should try, but now you're nothing like Danny Mac if I